Yo, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. What is going on behind me right now? I am obviously trying to snipe a player and, uh, well... Who's it going to be? Who are we going to try and get on today's episode? Well, you'll see it right now. Quincy Promes is the guy. So, obviously, his price cap has been updated now. So, he's a little bit more expensive. Uh, but the other night, when I, when he hadn't been updated, he was still extinct. And I decided to go out and buy myself one of them. So, I sniped for a few minutes to try and get one. And we were successful at like 3 a.m. in the morning or something. So, the first one that actually popped up on the market, I was able to get my hands on. Uh, and now he's a little bit more expensive, which is brilliant. So, we could make profit on that. And then for about a 1,000 coins cheaper to the next one, I picked up a Florian Tovan. So, this is the new French team, like the new look French squad. You'll see it a little bit better in a moment or right there and then it will actually change like uh, formation and stuff in game to my beloved 41212 but guys you know what I'm gonna ask you to do right now don't you I'm gonna say it smash that thumbs up button keep your amazing amazing support on this series going for some reason yesterday's video didn't do anywhere near as well actually uh, I feel like YouTube was a little bit busted and I, I don't uh, I don't know maybe a lot of you were just busy playing the game rather than watching it right um, but if you haven't seen it and you missed episode number six I have been uploading every single day so if you've missed one click in the top corner you can check that out pause this one go and have your feel of episode six come back to episode seven and it will be all good right so this is what the team will look like like in game, um, Promes is going to be my striker with Ben Yedda, and then Tovan's going to be my cam. And I, I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm like rubbing my hands together at the thought of using those three in my squad. I think that's going to work out quite nicely for us. Well, I hope so anyway, because Plia and Cabela were like. I feel like we'd move past that. You know, we've got coinage now. We've moved past it a little bit. So it's time for us to upgrade. Uh, so team's looking good. You know, we've got Ben Yedda who's sort of on the rise a little bit price-wise. We don't know. Later on today, he could get an inform. And if he does, then I think we're going to get profit from him. If he doesn't, then I think we'll lose money on him. But at that point, uh, I'm, I'm using him. So I'm getting my value out of him right now. It won't really matter. Uh, and then, well, we've got Promes. We've got Condogbia in that squad. We've got Paulinho in the other squad. That's like three players that are all over 20k. So we've got a fair amount of coins bubbling away under the surface if we did want to sell some stuff. Now... I got demoted from rank 3 to rank 4 because I hadn't played for a little bit. And... Uh, I, I, I want to get rank 3 this week. So I need to just play a few games on, on Fuck Division Rivals in order to get my uh, rank back up so that we can get those... Uh, well, I, I want the third rank rewards. Like, I could potentially push to rank 2. I don't think I've got anywhere near enough like time to play the games to get up to rank 1 this week. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll have a look and I'll have a think. But um, we'll see what we get over the next couple of days. And there was also this thing that, you know, as some of you still don't have the game and, and stuff like that, and, and obviously the, uh, I don't want to get too far ahead. Speaking of which, I'm actually running a giveaway right now over on my Twitter. If There's a link down below in the description. If you want to come follow me on Twitter, I'm giving away five copies of FIFA 19, thanks to EA, uh, for hooking me up with digital downloads for either PS4, Xbox, or PC if you want. So, um, yeah, come over, retweet, follow, whatever it is that I've asked you guys to do. Uh, I'll leave a link to even that tweet in the description if you want to come follow me. I tweet all the time about FIFA 19. There's, there's never been a better time to follow me on there, right? So, yeah, if you want a chance to win the game, if you haven't pre-ordered, it or if you can't pre-order it or whatever then uh, there is your chance there's your opportunity to win one of potentially five copies of the game uh, so in this rivals game right here I, I went 2-0 up and then I conceded a goal Ben Yedda then look at the dribbling oh I, I absolutely kipper the defenders right there that was good that was really nice uh, and uh, I'm actually starting to get the hang of this a little bit I know I'm in division five and and that's probably slightly easier opponents but I, I'm starting to feel a bit more confident. I was playing a whole bunch of games. I went to the Footwiz office the other day, or the HQ, and I was playing a whole bunch of games on my main account, and I just started to, like, get the hang of it a bit. And I'm getting intercepted a lot less now because I'm, I, I'm shaping up my players to then pass a straight where they can actually see and not doing, like, blind passes behind my shoulders and stuff. So I'm, I'm starting to get it. Obviously, I still kind of suck at defending. I mean, and, and when you let that happen... Uh, <laughs> it's not good, you know, passing it straight out to your opponent's striker, not recommended, I, I would say that, so, so yeah, like, obviously, I fucked, 
picked up right there, but so be it. You know, it happens from time to time. It's only a problem if he scores an equaliser. Oh, wait, he just scored an equaliser. Um, so, yeah, like, that wasn't good. And I thought I was going to bottle this game that I was 2-0 and 3-1 up in. Uh, but I was able to save that with Ariola right there. Cyprion then plays it out to Ndombele, um, who plays it in to Florian Tovan. And I just randomly hit the shot. And on the weak foot of Tovan, that one flies into the top corner to, to restore my lead. You know, we go we go back up to 4-3 in this game. What is this? FIFA 18? There's loads of goals being scored. That's not normal on FIFA 19, is it? Uh, but then I have a, a great opportunity to score there and completely fluff it. I don't know what I was doing. But Tovan plays it to Promes, who just goes for a couple of skill moves, cuts back inside. And I'm telling you guys... This green perfectly timed finesse shot is the one. It is the shot to take on this game. It seems to be the, if there was an OP shot, it is going to be one of those green perfectly timed finesses. It seems to beat the keeper a lot, a lot of times, like a seriously high percentage rate. So uh, that's what I would recommend. Start learning the, the finesse shots on the edge of the box and, and try and time them well. Uh, I seem to be able to time finesse shots better than any other shot. I feel, feel like there's more time uh, as the, as the, the leg is coming back to then to then time and there's just a little a couple more seconds or half a second or something which makes it slightly easier so we win 5-4 in a nine goal thriller here in fuck division rivals um and that gives me another 65 for champions points it's going to be bloody ages until i actually qualify for that isn't it uh and pushes us up another 20 or 30 uh skill rating most importantly does push us back into rank number three which uh i reckon i would probably be safe Right now, like there's there's like a day left, less than a day left as you're watching this video, because uh, I believe rewards are on Thursday. So not sure whether or not I would need to play much more, but I wanted to play like two more games for this episode itself. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Next game we come up against uh, a sort of like a prem team. Uh, it didn't look too amazing. I know that my team looked better. Obviously, I've switched now over to my Talisca and Paulinho side, uh, which. It is no longer my favourite strike force out of the ones I've got because I really like Promes and I really like Ben Yedda. So that's now like the French team or whatever it is is kind of becoming my favourite team and this one's almost becoming the, the fitness squad again. So, but it's good. It's good to have like good problems like that where you, you don't know which one's your favourite, right? Uh, and, and after a lovely bit of skill there and a really nice finesse shot, Alex Teixeira is able to stick that one into the back of the net. Uh, I then spot an open back Ambu and I actually go for a low driven shot and for some reason it hits it with the side foot. I feel like that's a bug in FIFA right now uh, but I do hit a low driven, so LB and RB uh, to keep that shot nice and on the ground. It's at an angle where I feel like it's going to be difficult for the goalkeeper to get down so that's exactly why I went for that kind of shot and, and it paid off. It went into the back of the net. So we are 2-0 up at half time. The only thing I don't like about my stats right there is my pass accuracy. That means that I've been forcing it a little bit and trying to play blind passes, which is something I said. If you watch, if you look at the last game, I think I had like 90% uh, pass accuracy. So that's something that I try and always try and do, get up to 90% because that means I'm not messing up many of my passes at all. Um, and I get a little bit disappointed when, when I do mess it up slightly. So uh, we get a whole nother bunch of points, like 680. I guess we got less there because he rage quit we didn't play a full game but now we're like a quarter or a third of the way through rank number three i doubt the points are going to go up enough like that uh, but i still wanted to play another game with with this team because this is my new squad uh, that that front three and also having con dog beer in the midfield as well is just balling i love it i think he's so good uh someone was telling me he's got more card game like in-game card stats than like gattuso or something so that's kind of crazy isn't it but we get matched up against a nice squad the guy's got a solid solid prem team and he was offside there but he does stick it in the back of the net with zaha it's not going to count mate doesn't matter jay lings is not going to go down the pitch millie rock in there because it didn't count uh but tovan hits a terrible terribly timed shot uh which didn't go in this time if you notice if you like click back to the first game that we played in this episode i believe the first two goals i scored both went in off of red timed shots so that was just luck i guess at the end of the day uh but i was trying all sorts of sh all sorts of stuff i couldn't couldn't friggin score this guy was actually quite good uh but then all of a sudden it just sort of ended up kind of going my way that was how the first goal went in and that's a dodgy goal to score right i'd be annoyed if my defenders didn't quite clear that and stuff uh but i nearly messed it up i nearly didn't score it he then gets 
gets through here and plays it through to Lacazette. He's actually through on goal. Can he score? No. What a save from Ariola. That was great. That kept me in the game. Promes then does that awesome uh, new fake shot, plays it to Tolvan, plays it into Ben Yedda. Uh, keeper saves the first opportunity, but then with a terribly timed shot, I'm able to stick that one into the back of the net, uh, and we do get our second goal. They've not been pretty in this game, that's for sure, uh, but Kondogbia plays it to Tolvan, through to Promes, who locks a lovely ball through to Ben Yedda, and that's a low-driven shot as well. I'm trying to remember to, to do them and trying to get my angles right on them, and for the last two or three shots, that I've taken, it's been in low pressure situations where I'm winning games or or, or, or if it doesn't go in, it doesn't really matter. Like, the, the, there's no pressure on the player. Uh, and I've actually been scoring them. So, uh, really trying to start learning the different shooting mechanics and stuff. See what we can make work on this game. But a finesse shot hit perfectly green timed uh, as I as managed to, to go into the back of the net there. And that was uh, Vilan Ciprion who scores the goal. Now, at the end of this game... We are actually gonna we're actually gonna buy someone uh, towards the end of this episode in, in a moment, and uh, it was to to replace one of my three midfielders. Now it's obviously not going to be Condogbia because he's never going anywhere. I love him at the moment. Um, Cyprian I really like, and Ndombele I really like as well. But there's someone I can now afford after playing a few games here. I've got like six and a half k, uh, and there's someone I can actually afford that I want to bring in that I feel like would be an upgrade over Cyprian. Or in Dombele. So uh, I'm, I'm still... I mean, you'll find out in like 30 seconds who I've bought and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we push up to nearly halfway through the rank in rank three. I'm good there. I, I will... I need to know whether or not you guys would like me to take the coins as a reward or whether you'd like me to take the um, like the packs or the untradeable packs. What do I do? I like the thought of getting the tradable packs and risking it and trying to get something good. Uh, but I also do very much like the, the thought of obviously taking the coins... I don't know. What do you want? Well, on a road to glory, I'm sure taking 32,000 coins would be a good idea. Uh, but saying that, like potentially getting something good in a pack could be worth more. I don't know. It's like a, a 15k pack and a 35k pack. I could walk away with like 6k in discard value and, and, and make terrible rewards this week. Or I could just take 32,000 coins. I'm going to leave a poll somewhere. A poll might actually be on Twitter. Um, so that's another reason to come follow me over there. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll do a poll and see what see what you guys want me to do. Because I'm still not sure on rewards whether or not taking coins is... Is it a boring option? Is the packs a more fun option but obviously a, probably a less rewarding option? What are we doing here? I'm weighing it up and uh, I need a little bit of help and advice from you guys. What are you actually going to do? You can leave a comment down below as well with what you're going to do with your rival's rewards. So the player we are going to buy is actually Rabio. Now he actually popped up for like five or six hundred, no, seven or eight hundred coins cheaper than anything else on the market the very first time I searched for him. So that's good. Uh, so we got him for four and a half thousand coins and he looks great this year. And as you can see, Ndombele it has been um, demoted to, to the bench or the reserves right now. He's going to be someone that I could either sell on for some profit or keep on the bench right now for a little bit and, and that would work out for me. But he needed to go for now. I feel like Cyprion, Rabio, Condogbia in the midfield. That is going to work out very, very well for me, I think. Especially with that front three as well. The team's coming on. Do I need a new goalie? Do I need a new right back to make the team fully rare? Let me know down below who I could get for that. Uh, is Sidibe the right back? Is he is he rare this year? I'm not too sure, uh, but I'm sure we could figure it out and, and, and get someone nice into the team. That is going to be the end of the episode today, though, guys. If you've enjoyed, you know what to do. Keep up that amazing, amazing support. Like There's literally been 10 to 12,000 new subscribers to the channel recently. That's insane. Thank you so much. Uh, and the likes have been going off the chart as well. So I appreciate you guys so very, very much. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.